An alternative way for performing the designation step of process identification is by using a reference model as a template to build the process architecture. So reference models are collections of process models that have been defined on the basis of proven practices, like on the basis of applying or observing this categorization of processes in different successful organizations around the globe. So a reference model is nothing else than a catalog of business processes, also with attached expected performance at the level of each process, which can also be used in the analysis phase as a benchmarking purpose. Reference models are available uh, for different sectors. For example, the Information Technology Infrastructure Library, ITIL, is used for IT service provision, so for organizations that operate in the IT service provision. Or the Supply Chain Operations Reference Model, SCORE, is used for supply chain management. Or the ETOM Business Process Framework is used in the telecommunication sector. And there are also um, reference models that are industry neutral, such as uh, the process classification framework, PCF. Typically, these reference models are maintained by an association or a consortium, such as uh, the SCORE uh, reference model is maintained by the Supply Chains Council, whereas uh, the process classification framework is maintained by APQC, the American Productivity and Quality Center. So let's consider the process classification framework as an example. This is industry neutral and um, it is also an open standard for benchmarking, meaning that each process is given certain metrics and expected target values so that the reference model can also be used during the analysis phase of the BPM cycle to benchmark our performance with the reference model. This uh, reference model is organized according to four levels of abstraction. We have categories, process groups, processes and activities. These are the different categories that are available. We see that they are divided into operating processes, meaning core processes, according to a value chain of uh, five main uh, categories, develop vision and strategy, design and develop products and services, market and sell products and services, deliver products and services, and manage customer service. So you see that they are very abstract in nature, meaning that each category category can apply both to a process or to a service. And then we have a number of categories, uh, seven categories, that group processes related to management and support service. So essentially group management and support processes, such as develop and manage human capital, manage information technology, or manage financial resources. Now, drilling down into a particular category, such as manage customer service, we can see a list of business processes grouped according according to a process grouping. For example, procure materials and services is a particular group, which contain processes such as select suppliers and develop or maintain contracts. Again, it is very abstract in nature. And finally, each process is a list of activities, such as match needs to supply capabilities, which is an activity of process develop sourcing strategies. Now, this reference model provides a list of activities, but uh, these activities are not necessarily sequential. So develop procurement plan and clarify purchasing requirements uh, or develop inventory strategies may not be performed in this specific order. This process classification framework is industry neutral. However, instantiation of this uh, reference model are also available for different industry sectors, ranging from telecommunication, aerospace, finance, all the way to resource, electric utilities, education, retail, and so on.